Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, RoseWardStampersDelight.com. I was asked by some of my customers to do scrapbooking 101. So if you're a scrapbooker, this might not be the place for you. These are going to be quick, easy scrapbook pages. But then again, I like to scrapbook and I do some intricate, detailed scrapbook pages. But I also like to do just quick and easy ones. So that's what this is okay scrapbook sunday quick and easy scrapbook pages so i'm going to get started again roseward stampersdelight.com grab your coffee grab your tea come scrapbook with me okay what i'm using here is the friendly flamingo stamp set which is in the i'm going to put it over here so the light doesn't glare on that which is in the um, January to June catalog. And here are the dies. I started working on this for my YouTube live Monday night. And then I decided that I was gonna go with a scrapbook page. So let me just show you. Again, this is just a quick, easy little video to show you what I did with these. So the first thing I have is the one page I already did. Now this is gonna be what we call a two page layout. I could leave it like this. And this is a, just a single page. And then I can add my pictures. I left some white here for journaling. You can get very detailed with this. I did not want to do that for this first video. Okay, so again, just some flirty flamingo, um, friendly flamingos in the flirty <laughs> flamingo color. And I thought this was just a really cute page. My mother loved flamingos growing up. We always had those plastic ones in our gardens. Not a flamingo person, but I do love this stamp set. So I'm going to put that aside for a minute, and I'm going to bring in some pieces that I've already um, cut and some that I haven't. So here is my 12 by 12 flirty flamingo base, and then here is a 12 by 12 um, whisper white. I'm sorry, basic white. It's now called basic white. I'm going to bring my paper trimmer in. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to cut this down on two of the corners. I'm going to make this 11 and a half. So I'm moving it up to the 11 and a half. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a scrapbook page. That's what this is all about. I'm going to turn it the other way and do one more at 11 and a half. And that's gonna go right on top of here. So here's my base. Here's my layout that I'm gonna be working with, my mat. So this is this is the matted area, okay? All right, now I've already cut a couple of pieces of cardstock in the Flirty Flamingo, and they're just different sizes. This is four by six, this is four by five and a quarter, and this is four by four. And those are the sizes that I have up here in this one. But for, and I don't know if I can do this out. Nope, I want to go this way. Okay, uh, so I want to do a, a two-page layout. So if this was a, a single layout, I would leave it like this. But since this is a two-page layout, what I'm going to do, let me just put that in the corner so you can see. I'm going to move these opposite. So this one's going to go here. This one's going to go here. And this one's going to go over here. This is the area I'm going to stamp in. So when you put these two together, it will look like that. So let's get started. Move these out of the way. And I will put the dimensions in the description. Again, remember, this is Scrapbooking 101. I've got my Flirty Flamingo. I've got my Pool Party. And I have Granny Apple Green. Now, these are photopolymer stamps. So I do want to use my mat. So right in this area, I'm going to bring this up. Right in this area is where I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to start with the pool party for the water. Not going to mat, uh, mask anything because these are really kind of see-through. This water base. Okay. I'm going to just bring that in for, to show you here. Okay, so that's going to go there. I'll put one right here. I'm going to put one in there, and I'm going to do one over here. Okay, so I've got four of them there. 
Now I'm going to bring in the grass or the lily. And I'm just going to stamp a few of those right here. Light and dark, so I'm not re-inking. I have a lot of photos that I have to scrapbook. So quick and easy pages are great for me. Now, I've already cut these out. These are from the dies that I showed you. Okay, so there's the stamp right there. And then there is the die. And this is a different die, and it does something a little bit different. If you'd like to see that, I will be live tomorrow night on my YouTube channel at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, and you'll see what I'm going to do with the flirty flamingo then, or the friendly flamingos. They're going to go right there. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to peel this off. And when I say peel it off, I didn't glue it down yet. I just want to see where I have these. I am actually going to take some um, adhesive, and I'm going to put those down one flat. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this one, and I'm going to add a little of our stamp and seal. You don't need much because it's kind of flat anyway. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. So if you enjoy this Scrapbooking Sunday, Scrapbooking 101, leave me a comment, and I will start doing these on Sunday mornings. Um, can't promise I'll be on every Sunday, but I will surely try. Okay, so I am looking for my Take Your Pick tool, which is probably on my other table. So I'm just going to grab my scissors. And this one, let me move it up a little bit. I am going to put some dimensionals on this. I'm just going to put him right about there. So he pops up a little bit, just like these two. So this one is the only one that popped up. Now I'm going to take my rhinestones and I am going to make them stand out with the rhinestones. I know somewhere I have pictures to put in here. Um, when we went to Florida and Disney and we did go to one of the parks that had flamingos. And I did take a lot of pictures because of my mom. So when I find those pictures, that's exactly what I'm going to use them for. I'm going to put that right here. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my base, which is the flirty flamingo. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I didn't want to do glue it down first in case I made a mistake. Okay, so I'm just going here, here, and a little bit there. I'll lay that down right here. Okay, let's move this out of the way one second. And I'm going to bring in my pieces now. So this is the larger one. I'm going to start there. This is the smaller one. I'm going to have that right here, and that's going to go right there. These are my mats for my pictures. So you know when you take pictures, you don't always use the, the 4 by 6 picture. You need to crop it, and cropping means that you're cutting the picture just for the focal point. If you've never done scrapbooking before, this is a great way to start, just something quick and easy. And again, this one right here is a four by four, and you might say, well, my pictures are bigger than that. But you know how you have one picture that there's just one focal point you need, and you're gonna crop that and put that right on that mat. And there you have what we call a two-page layout. I will have uh, still shots of these on my blog, stampersdelight.com, and also on my Facebook page. I do have a group page for scrapbooking where we share ideas. And there you have your two-page layout. Now, if I wanted to, I could even add some Wink Estella, which I think I might, just because I love my Wink Estella. So I'm going to make these shimmery now.
And you, I could have done that before, but I wasn't sure if I was going to do that. And I'm going to add some shimmer down here, too, so that it looks like shimmery water. Now, Wink Estella is a wet applicant here. So when you apply it, or you want to make sure that you're careful not to get it too wet. I don't know if applic it's a wet applicable. I don't know if that's a word, but <laughs> you'll get used to me. Okay. Just going to give it a little squeeze because it needs a little bit more coming out. I need a new one. I have more. That's one thing I don't run out of is my Wink Estella. Add some here. And what I mean by that is the it's wet, so you don't want your colors to bleed, so be careful with that. I think that touches it up nice. Bring it up. I don't know if you can see the Wink Estella, but it does make it shimmer and shine. And there's my first Scrapbooking Sunday 101. And I can always add more to it because... This stamp set has some great greenery, some great flowers, and I can add those in here by use, by stamping and then cutting them out. I can add much more to this page. But again, this is Scrapbooking 101. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my other videos. Most of them are card making. There are some craft ideas. And thank you for tuning in. Keep on scrapbooking, scrapbookers. Take care. Bye.